Hello Philippines Mabuhay to all my Kababayans. Welcome back again. I'm here uh, sharing some information to you. So we're now uh, almost uh, done with our topic discussion. Uh, we have only two risk factors left. So uh, I'm going to leave the last part on my next blog because this one is kind of uh, a little lengthy and I don't want it so that I could upload uh, the video right away i don't want to wait too long so uh, one of the factors that could lead to to an elderly falls or falling in the elderly is that improper uh, feeding shoes or poor footwear or any other shoe concerns i'm going to include also any pain or soreness or or problems involving the the feet and the ankles because uh, if there's problem or concerns with this uh, with this particular part of our lower legs that could affect also the the walking capability or the balance of an individual especially the elderly so what's going to happen if a, an individual is wearing an improper fitting shoes or poor uh, poor foot wear so uh, there's a tendency that they could skid or that could lead them to have an injury from the fall because like for example if an elderly is wearing high-heeled shoes or an inch and a half or two inches uh, high-heeled shoes so remember um, as we get older when we walk we get the the steps or the the walking steps is very slow the walking steps are very slow and then sometimes it could hardly clear off the ground when you walk so just like see so if there's like a mild disturbance you could easily trip or you could easily skid or imbalance yourself and remember too as we age the sensory system is getting impaired so especially too, if you have like a pre-existing problem like diabetes or multiple sclerosis wherein it, in, it affects your, your nerve system or neurons or your nerve system, especially in your, uh, in your legs or in your feet. Sometimes you could have like intermittent claudication from peripheral vascular disease. You could have like burning sensation or aching sensation from the neuropathy due to your diabetes. Sometimes you could have like severe burning or no sensation on the bottom of the feet. So if you have no sensation in there, so your balance will be affected because you know the perception, the, the receptors there couldn't perceive what's your position of your feet or your ankle. So if you couldn't feel it, there's a diminished in the sensation, there is a big tendency that you're going to fall. Another one too, if you're wearing uh, floppy slippers, I know most of the time in the Philippines, you know, we got the uh, elderly people who really can't afford to buy shoes. So most uh, of their life, uh, they were wearing uh, slippers and then sometimes it, it, it's old sleepers there it's worn so you know that affects the the contour or the shape of their feet or of their ankles and then sometimes it could cause like uh this alignment of the the joint sometimes they could have like a bunions calluses or any forms of uh foot or feet dysfunction in there sometimes it, they got their joints crooked the uh, the joints on their foot or feet it could um uh, there's a deformation so that affects also the uh, the walking or the balance of an individual and then sometimes too for people who are wearing an improper shoe sizes like for example uh, if you're diabetic and you're one time your or most of the time your feet and ankles uh, swells up 
so instead like you are supposed to your shoe size is six and then but because of the swelling you should be wearing maybe seven or eight inches as long as the purpose is it's not gonna press too much on your on your feet especially the skin because but because of the friction from the shoes and then with your walking it could rub the skin if it's too tight and then that could lead you to have like uh, a sore or an open skin and then if you're diabetic that's got that's gonna be the start of uh, the problem because being a diabetic you are a poor healer you know your healing process is very slow and then sometimes if uh, your sugar is uncontrolled it's just gonna get worse and then uh, who knows uh, if the if if it's not un, if it's not attended to by the doctor, you're not taking any medicines, and your sugar is poorly controlled. Who knows that wound will get infected, and then sometimes that could lead to gangrene or no circulation at all. So the doctor has to cut it off, and then you'll you'll get uh, it will get amputated. And then sometimes too, if a person has having issues with arthritis or your gout or osteoarthritis or arch problem, it could be a plantar inflammation of your, of your plantar ligament or you, there's like a heel spurs from the arthritis on the heels. So those could lead to discomfort on the feet, sometimes one or sometimes both. So those factors have uh, have an effect to a person, especially to an elderly, because it's going to affect their walking ability and their balance as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for now. And then I'm going to give you the rest, uh, the last factor tomorrow. And then I'm going to give you the summary. So hope you learned something. Uh, regarding the risk factor that I have given you. So you all have a good night and take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.